guys, it's Marianne at Thrive Admin Services. And in today's video, I'm introducing you to an app inside Microsoft 365's web tools, and that is called Sway. Now Sway is an interactive design platform so that you can build reports, newsletters, announcements, presentations in a way that isn't quite as templated and as restricted as PowerPoint may give you or creating something perhaps even in Canva because it doesn't use a template. It uses some inbuilt design and AI to take what you put in as content and come up with the best layout for you. So I'm gonna build a presentation and show you what it looks like inside Sway to see if it's the kind of tool that would be really useful for you. So let's go and have a look. So today we're having a look at Microsoft Sway and the first thing to do is figure out where it is. So Sway is a web-based tool and you can access it from your office.com dashboard. So in your web browser, you head to office.com and sign into your account. And then from there, up in the app launcher, we're going to open up Sway. If you can't find it here, you can go explore all your apps and then all apps and they'll all be listed here alphabetically and you can jump into Sway. Now, I've built a Sway to show you what it looks like. So I thought what we would do is actually have a look at this one. So I'm going to play it and you'll get a feel for what this is all about. So Sway is our interactive presentation tool. It's the next step up from PowerPoint in, that, in the sense that you put all your content in, you build a storyboard or slides effectively of all the pieces. So some are content, text or um, information, some are video, some are images, and you put them in the order that you want them to come up on the screen. And then Sway actually puts it together based on what you've uploaded into a layout that it thinks is the most engaging. Now you can edit that at any time, not a problem, but it takes away that templated look and it gives you something that is a little bit more dynamic than PowerPoint can give you. So in this instance, I've taken the first part of my free webinar that I offer and I've put it up into Sway so that you can get a feel for what that content would look like in this format. So the first part that I'm going to do, sorry, I'm just popping my, want to do not disturb. So when we preview it, we've got a title. And as I flick through here in the, um, the arrow keys, you'll see the layout start to come to life. So this one is an image and then we've got some text. Then we've got another image and it's, you can see it's doing the layout really differently. This one is a little bit fuzzy, but it's an image. And then we're into a bit more text that I would talk to on the screen typically. Here's what we're going to cover in the session. Here's some text and then some more images. So let's get stuck in. And now we're actually into the engaging interactive part. So typically this would be a slide that has, the next section would be all one slide. So what I've managed to do here is have a cover and then we move here and we've got what's called a stack and I can actually flick through these like palm cards on the screen. So again, a little bit more engaging and dynamic. On the flip side, the next one that I've got for Excel, you can see here I've got it just as the text. So let's have a look at what goes on behind the scenes. So if I hit escape and we go out of the, I'm oh, sorry, I'll go back into Sway. What's going on there? This shows you the timeline of all of my uh, slides. So you can see what we've got built in and we'll go back to home and I'm going to edit it now. So now we're in the back end of Sway and you can see how it's put together. So we have a storyline tab and a design tab. In the storyline tab, this is where we put our content and you can add the cards. You can have a heading card, a text card, an image card, a stack upload. From the text, you can do heading or text. In media, you can do a video or audio. You can embed content. So if you've got something from a website or, um, from, even from YouTube, you can actually embed it in here and you can upload content from your own device. And then you can group things together. So we can build things into a comparison, a, a mini slideshow, a stack or um, some automatic stuff. So as an example, uh, when I got down here, I've got these two are put in as a stack. But what I can do here, if I was to add 
let's add in something under here. I'm going to add, uh, if I was to add a group, I might now do a grid. And you can see it's going to ask me to pull up the content. So I might put in some text and the text might be, I'm going to copy this one over. So we'll do it this way and do this in a grid. And then inside this grid, we're going to add an image and I can drag an image or I can pull things up from any of these sections. So I'm going to go back into my device and just pop in my Excel logo. You can put a caption on that if you like, but I'm not going to. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to copy this content. I'm going to break it into three text boxes. So if we add another text box and we call that, so I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to take that out. So you can see we're doing this one as a grid um, and I'm going to move. I can move this one into the center. So I've got this um, and I'm going to add another text card and I'm going to make it an emphasis and we're going to call it like that. And I'm going to put that card. So you can see we can edit and play with this at any time. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to jump back in. And I'm going to play it and you can see this is what it does with that layout showing me that so I can skip through this one's the same I haven't changed anything here that's a lot of my face on the screen in the masterclass before we get started so here's an image let's jump in so for word I've done it this way where I've gone a stack uh, this one I'm doing it this way and then we've gone to, and then we've got that Excel cover. And I can work through some of the other tools. So that is Microsoft Sway. Now you can share a Sway, um, very similar to the way you would share things with, uh, from within OneDrive. So you can have a password to view or edit it, whether you let people see the share button so that they can in turn share it, and who you want to share it with anyone with the link and they can view or edit you get a visual link it's a bit pretty uh, which you can copy and send it into an email so you get a thumbnail alternatively you can get an embed code and that means you can pop it in as an iframe on your own website or up on your SharePoint you could uh, link it that way so you can use it in lots of different ways so if you're looking for a design tool and you're not sure where to start or you, you don't really like the idea of working within PowerPoint, have a look at Sway and see if it's the kind of tool that you would make sense for you. Hey, you, yeah, you, quick ad. This video is sponsored by my flagship course, Microsoft 101, 13 modules, 10 hours of bite-sized tutorials covering 13 apps and programs inside your Microsoft 365. Yep. The one you've already got. Would you like to know how to use it more? Head over to thriveadmin.com forward slash Microsoft 101. I'll pop the link at the end of this ad and you can get it for $100 off. Use the code YouTube to get $100 off and get instant and unlimited access to over 10 hours of my expertise on your schedule. Check it out. So if you present regularly using your own machine and have an internet connection, then check out Sway. If you are tired of using PowerPoint templates or even Canva templates and struggling to make your stuff really pop, then I would definitely recommend checking it out and having a play. I've only just started, so this, this is really as, as deep as I've gotten at the moment, but I think it's got some really great capabilities and I would love to see what you do. So. Let me know how you go, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Cheers.